Hi, my name is Peter, and this is my wife, Jessica. We've been coming to the Way Church for about a year now. My wife actually attended the church before I did. She took one of the freedom classes here, and um, there was a lot of anger that I had stored up inside, a lot of infidelity that was going on in our marriage through, through my part, and in me just being out in the world, pretty much doing anything and everything that I wanted to do. And I always told my wife, whatever it is that you want to go off and do, go ahead and do it because at this point, I don't see any hope for me. I was just like, there's no way that your God could save me. And that's pretty much how cold my heart was. I felt very alone and felt um, like I had no direction. So I said, why not go to these classes? I convinced my husband to start the class with me and that's when God started uh, restoring things in our lives. I actually started to break into a little bit more of what the church was, the real passion and everything that they carried behind it, the discipleship, the love, and everything that they were pursuing to do to follow God's footsteps is something that definitely pierced my heart to be able to open up myself through all of my past hurt and all of my flaws and my failures and everything that I had done. I felt that I was the most insane that I had ever been in my entire life, even more than when I was on drugs. But I cried out to God and I said, God, I need you, I need you to set me free. And I called my discipleship leader and he said, come to church and we'll do deliverance. That night I went to church and I got deliverance that night. And that night um, I was able to get blessed with tickets to the marriage conference, which was actually that weekend. And that was literally the turning point for our marriage. We both literally commented out loud, either God has to come through for us in this conference and something's gonna happen, or we're both done. We were literally at our breaking point after 10 years of marriage and literally the complete entire decade of us being married, it was infidelity, it was uh, anger, rage, um, brokenness, destruction all the way through, not one happy Valentine's Day, not one happy anniversary, not one birthday, nothing was ever good up until this turning point and the marriage conference and the, the way. So definitely a lot of things have changed and have gotten better from where we were before to how God has definitely transformed us now. I can actually say I've eaten more home cooked meals in the past six, seven months than I have in the last 10 years. Um, more family time in these past few months than I have had in pretty much almost all my kids' lives. And definitely just a transformation in, in my heart to, to just love my wife more, to, to have more of a passion for my marriage, for my kids, and to be um, more caring and more willing to, to want to be in my relationship with God, to learn more about God for myself. God did a huge miracle in my life and it has helped me to be a better mom and a better wife and just to believe God for anything because he's shown me that he's faithful and that there's nothing that he can't do. There's no one that he can't touch. Hello everyone, welcome to service. What a great testimony by Peter and Jessica on how God has transformed their lives and their marriage. And that is why we do what we do here at The Way World Outreach. I wanna read a scripture. The scripture says in Proverbs 11:25, it says, the generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. There's two principles I see here. First of all, the generous. That word generous, it means blessing. You're being a blessing, will prosper. That word prosper, it means to be fat, um, to become fat, to be, become prosperous or anoint. So God is going to make sure that He makes that we're prospering so that we can have enough for ourselves and to continue to be a blessing, right? The next thing is, is those who refresh others will be refreshed. That's another principle. And the, the word refresh, it means to water. It's, it's kind of like actually seeing somebody thirsty and giving them water until they're filled. That's what this scripture is actually saying. Helping others to live the fulfilled life that God has for them, right? That's what we do. We refresh others. 
and then it says themselves will be refreshed. Now this is interesting because I thought that the, the word refresh meant the same as the first word, refresh, but it doesn't. This word actually means, one of the things that stood out to me was to direct, to teach, instruct, which means that God will give us the direction, the instruction, the wisdom that we need in whatever situation we find ourselves in. And so as we're getting ready to give, I also want to remind us that we're building a playground at our Arrowhead campus. We want to build a playground that's, that's one of the best playgrounds in San Bernardino for our kids. Now, if you look on the screen, you'll see a rendition of the playground that we want to build, right? Now, also, I want to show you what it looks like right now. Not too appeasing, right? Now, this playground that we're going to build is right around $95,000. At this time, we're fasting for our, for our growth devotionals and we're only drinking water, right? We're having our regular meals, but we're only drinking water. Now, one way we could do this is that, that every time we think about drinking our Starbucks or our coffee, we've set that money aside. Starbucks is right around five bucks, right? I'm just giving you an idea. And if you set aside five bucks for 30 days, that's $150. If, if a thousand people brought five, uh, set aside five bucks a, a day, we knock it out, we're done. If 90 people would say, hey, I'll give a thousand dollars, we knock it out. You may be in the position to actually just pay the, the $95,000 to knock it out and get it done. And we got an amazing playground for our kids. In any case, we're going to be bringing that offering for the playground on October 2nd, Sunday, October 2nd. As we're preparing to give our tithes and our offering, we want to invite you to partner with us as we continue to transform lives. One way you can do that is the Way World Outreach app. You can go to the Google Play Store, Apple App Store, download the purple icon that says the Way World Outreach. There's a safe and secure way you can give there. Also, you can go to theway.gives. That's dot gives with an S. Any web browser, type that in. There's a safe and secure way you can give there as well. And the last way is here inside of the sanctuary, you'll see some giving kiosks. You can give your tithe or your offering in the kiosk or Monday through Friday, nine to five, you can come to the office here at the Hallmark campus and give your tithe or your offering there. At this time, the, the worship team is gonna sing another song. As they're singing the song, feel free to worship God in your giving. God bless.